Here we'll take a look at the interior. It's an Airtex interior designed to match the paint on the airplane. Here are some finer details. Stainless steel door surround wrap <clears throat> to protect the fabric. Again, Airtex seats, side panels, a wool headliner, shoulder harnesses, mall fuel valve, left, right, both, and off. Airtex carpeting, Airtex firewall pad. Here we'll look up underneath the instrument panel. You can see the wiring. There's the encoder with the vacuum filter. Over here you'll see the approach systems wiring, which is very nice for plug and play wiring if you decide to upgrade the air aircraft instrumentation or radios. All you have to do is buy a cable. Wiring is very quick. There's the vacuum regulator. Up there you'll see the ground bus. All wires in this airplane are, are ground, all ground wires are go to that same point. So there is no radio noise in the intercom. Next wall, take a look in the back here, the back seats. You can see it's just as nice as up front. It's got the hat rack with a nice carpeting. And again, the wool headliner. Kind of go over the instrument panel. Here we've got digital engine instruments. We've got an Electronics International digital TAC. We've got digital oil, oil temp, oil pressure, voltage, amp meter, digital fuel, digital EGT, and digital CHT. All those gauges are aerospace logic. We've got a modern compass and dual GPS comms, Garmin 250XL and a Garmin GNC 250 with a Garmin GTX 327 transponder and a PS Engineering PMA 4000 intercom audio panel, which is fantastic. There is absolutely no static. And the squelching is automatic with this intercom, and I uh, can't say more, th more good things about it. <clears throat> Here we have the typical steam gauges. All instruments were overhauled during the rebuild of the aircraft, so it should be pretty much turnkey, not have any issues. There you'll see the switching panel. We've got the Cessna style master switch with the battery and alternator on there, avionics master. We've got taxi landing light position, strobes, and then we have the potentiometers to adjust the brightness of the panel. Next, we'll go and I'll turn off the lights and show you the fiber optic panel lighting and uh, the dimmer controls on the aircraft.